Hi guys, I'm M Seeker of Truth. Now, a few weeks ago, I decided impulsively to go on a adventure. And so I crossed the seas over to Northern Ireland, which is a beautiful country. Whilst I was over there, I decided to film some of my adventure. Now, some of the main reasons I went to Northern Ireland, the, the first one is the Giant's Causeway. It's something I've always wanted to see. Now, Giant's Causeway is a beautiful place. It's on the coast. It consists of about 40,000 basalt columns that were formed between 50 to 60 million years ago when the Atlantic Ridge opened up. It was formed because of the heat and the pressure from the magma. Now, these, these basalt columns are, are rather interesting. They're, they're hexagonal in shape, and it's just it's an amazing sight to see. So that was one of the reasons. Uh, the other reason is uh, I'm a massive fan of Game of Thrones, and it, about 80% of Game of Thrones was actually filmed in Northern Ireland. A lot of those beach scenes you see, there's castles and things like that. Um, that, you know, they were all filmed in, a lot of them were filmed in, in Northern Ireland. And their main studio was also in Belfast or near Del Belfast in Northern Ireland. So I went to go see some of the castles and things like that. And whilst I was there, um, I did some exploring and, and ended up, you know, filming some interesting abandoned uh, places, derelict places, um, historical places. Also, I went to go and check out the uh, Game of Thrones studio tour, which has only just opened a few weeks before. Now, this is in, as I said, the main studio. And, and what they've done is they've brought all the props and, and everything from the show over to this studio uh, tour. And it was it was an amazing place to see. Now, I'm sure if you haven't watched Game of Thrones or you don't like Game of Thrones, you will still appreciate the, the beauty of Northern Ireland uh, that I show in this video and the, the adventure that I go on. So without further ado, here was my adventure the other week. We're in Northern Ireland. That was a terrible <laughs> accent. Come on, show us yours. I can't do accents in the slightest. <laughs> and we're in our little red Skoda <laughs> on our way to Bally Castle. <laughs> no, still no good. I'll have to work on that. I just can't get the high of it. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. I'm losing it again. All right, by the end of the holiday. By the end of the holiday. Oh, there's sheep. I wonder if they bar, if they bar Irish. <laughs> Bah! 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 Right, another hour. <laughs> Next time we see one, my last one. You're not having me fucking running around sheep fields again filming you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Did that before. Oh, I forgot we did that for the uh, <laughs> Hidden King documentary. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Valley Castle. Crazy view. That's amazing. Can we not stop for a sec? <laughs> so, man, it was up in the clouds yesterday. It doesn't really do it justice on this GoPro. <laughs> Those sheep are in a precarious position. <laughs> fall off the edge. How do they fall off? Please. <laughs> Jeez. That's not the island that people live on, is it? Rafflin Island. Yeah. Well, that one all the way over there? No, that little one. No, there's one over, one over there is Rafflin Island. Oh, okay. Not that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny rock in the sea. <laughs> 144 people living on there. <laughs> Are you videoing if you are overtaking me now? Yeah. If you're distracted by the view, it's probably safer to stop. Taking the view. Which is that way. Oh, really? Which. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Well, it's closed. Oh, is it? I don't know. Down there, but I don't know 
rainbow. That's incredible. No way. We're at the end of the rainbow. It's going into the water. Yeah, we're in Ireland. Actually, found the edge of the rainbow. It goes into the water. Hanging in Ireland. Pot of gold, leprechauns. Dodgy.
these houses are like nothing's got like we're in Marbella. Waves look, whoa, that's epic. Toy, there's a picture of Theon Greyjoy and basically the Iron Islands is where Theon Greyjoy comes back to get support from his father to help Rob Stark. Uh, that's where he meets his sister and uh, they go off on a horse back to the family home where he hadn't been in many years. going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. We're not scared. Cool. Small cave, but oh, it goes further. You ever seen the movie, the, movie the, uh, the Descent? Let's hope we don't come across monsters. Yes, it does. I'm going through. along King's Road. Dark hedges um, on the Brigger Road where Arya Stark and Robert Baratheon's illegitimate son board the cart on Anna Shoes's The King's Road. That's a crack. Right, that's interesting. That must be one of them. Hold on. 
You're saying those doors are made out of these trees? Yeah. I'm a Northern Island boy. Northern Island boy. Northern Island boy. No, have you not heard the Island Boys? Uh, you not heard of them? They're on TikTok and everything, like oh, famous. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, what do you call them there? They've got like green springy out dreads and they've got tattoos all over their face and they're from, I don't know where they're from, like. Oh, I'm an Island Boy. Hey, I'm a just Island Boy. But they call themselves the Island Boys. You know, everyone's taking the piss out of them. You usually know about the famous TikToks. Yeah. I'll have to show you at some point. Irish crisps or potato chips. So good. Oh. Sea's a wee bit choppy. beach is used in the filming of Game of Thrones as Dragonstone, where the seven idols of Westeros were burned and Melisandre, flames dancing into the night sky, proclaimed, for the night is dark and full of terrors. M's TV Crips, come on in. <clears throat> Downhill started life as a seaside villa to accommodate Frederick, his family and guests on their frequent visits to the Giant's Causeway. Frederick was passionate about volcanoes and the causeway fascinated him. So he hired an architect from Cork called Michael Shanahan to build a holiday home. But the good bishop was a client from hell, demanding constant changes to house his ever-growing art collection. As well as the mansion, Shanahan designed the Musadin Temple and the Mausoleum. He also supervised the complete transformation of this wild headland, clearing it of rocks and heather, landscaping it and planting grass and trees. In 1851, long after Frederick's death, the house caught fire in the vicinity of his former bedroom. The fire quickly consumed the west wing and southern villa, after which the house stood semi-derelict for over 20 years. The Bruce family, who inherited from Frederick, finally restored downhill during the 1870s. The two elegant domes that once graced the wings were removed at this time and a new main entrance was created beneath the gallery. Unfortunately, the dwindling fortunes of the Bruce family meant that the house fell into disuse and after the Second World War, it was abandoned. By the time the National Trust acquired it in the 1980s, like so many great Irish houses, it had fallen into dreadful disrepair.
check out that view. Oh, imagine living here. I mean, when it was built, of course. What a beautiful place to visit. Quite amazing, really. Just think, end of World War II, people were living in this place. It's crazy. This area was. This place is huge. Huge place. Oh, 
You got my phone? Huh? You got my phone? thing is rusted even the lever of the plumbing seat of the saddle okay <laughs> next time remind me to bring a mini torch <laughs> too much chocolate, too much caffeine. I think I'm twitching. I feel like Twitch of South Park. Oh, I can just see it, yeah. 
Oh wow, I've been planting the stock. Potato. Potato farmer in a potato truck. I reckon. If you've never seen one. What's it dropping out? It's dropping something out of it. Wedges. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got no it's got no number plate, is it? How is it getting away with not having a number plate? I reckon I, I reckon these are illegal potatoes. Spray, <laughs> spraying something out. Is that like... Potato? What's it dropping? It's dropping something out of it down on the bottom left side. I reckon they're chips and wedges and crisps all falling down the bottom. That's how they're made. Run behind it and pick them up. Yeah! Let's start our own Tato castle.